This week on Battle of the Ports, we are taking a look at Dragon Saber, after the story of Dragon Spirit, the follow-up to Dragon Spirit. Developed and released by Namco in December 1990, we have a worthy follow-up to the original game. At first glance, Dragon Saber doesn't seem all that special, with its basic fire and bomb to ground attacks. However, it follows one of Namco's other shooters, Pelius, in that if you do not press the attack button for a while, energy will accumulate in the dragon, and when it's fully accumulated, pressing the attack button will make a super powerful attack equipped with an explosive shot. Dragon Saber consists of 9 stages, with each stage featuring a boss battle. Nothing too special there, but if you manage to defeat the 9th stage boss, a hidden mode can be accessed. If you insert credits and start, while pressing both the one player attack and bomb buttons, the BGM will change to the arranged version. Furthermore, the ending lists Namco's game history from Blazer in July 1987 all the way through to the last game released in 1990. There is a funny spelling mistake though, as Dirt Fox is misspelled as Dart Fox. I guess Namco didn't know their own game's titles. The first port of Dragon Saber came to us on the PC Engine on August 5th, 1991. Now keep in mind that the PC Engine is an 8-bit console that is far less powerful than the arcade game, and then take a look at just how close this port is to the arcade game. Namco have done an amazing job here. Yes, the graphics have lost a lot of detail, and there is less on screen but we can still tell that it follows the arcade stage design and looks. Even the music, while not as good as the original, is still awesome for the PC Engine cue card. The drum tracks are really well done. So the game looks great and sounds great, but how does it play? Well, we still have that two-player option, but that does introduce a bit of slowdown. However, in one-player mode, the game is pretty solid. It plays just like its arcade big brother. Saying that, I do think that the collision detection is a little off in this version. You don't seem to be able to cheat death as easily. Basically the whole dragon has a hitbox, meaning it can get tricky to dodge stuff at times, due to how large the dragon is. Still saying that, this is an awesome port.
last non-emulated port of Dragon Saber appeared on Namco Museum Encore for PlayStation on October 30th, 1997. At first glance this looks to be arcade perfect, but it isn't. For a start, the scaling of the screen is off, resulting in shimmering and the game does have far more slowdown than the arcade original. But besides that, this is as close as a port we can get without actually emulating the arcade game. I'd also say that this version is easier than the arcade game, it just seems more forgiving overall. I do like the way Namco have added the arcade dip switch settings in this port to make it seem more authentic. It also gives you a great chance to listen to the game's soundtrack thanks to the sound test available in the test mode. Let's take a look at all those versions of Dragon Saber running side by side. 